okay let's uh, lock it back up okay there it is locked All right, what's wrong with you? There it is. Key didn't want to go in for some reason. All right, there it is. Locked up. All right, let's see what we can do with it. I will not promise you that I'll be able to open this, but I'm gonna time myself. If I can't get it open in four or five minutes, then we're gonna quit. And we'll end the video. We're going to uh, use uh, top of the keyway. This lock I've only been open it, able to open it twice in the last three days. It is a very hard lock to uh, open. It's almost unpickable. Uh, it is similar to a Yale lock. It really uses the same keyway as a Yale. So let's see if we can uh, get my pick in 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 the back all the way to the back. Let's see if we can tighten that up a little bit. Okay, let's redo it. It's trying to fall out on me. Okay, everything's free there, I believe. Let's make sure that it is free. Okay. All right, we're still locked. Let's see if we can um, get to the back of the lock. We're going to go in at an angle. I know enough about this lock now that uh, I will get it down before it's over with. So I'll tell you what let's do. Let's go ahead and gut it and see what kind of pins are in it. I may not ever get it back together, but um, if not, I'll just cut it in half and make it two uh, challenge locks. So. because I'm interested to see what kind of pins are in this lock. See why it makes it so hard to um, open. I can get these clips off. There we go. No, it's not it yet. Thought we had it going there for a second.
Okay, there it's coming. There it is. All right, let's see if we can see what kind of pins we've got in this lock. Let's do this right if we can. You may not be able to see exactly the order that the pins are in, but at least we can see what's in it. Okay, it is five pin. We'll look at these pins real close in just a second. Let's see, it come out of three. Okay, there's nothing extra special about the core or the plug and um, just springs all right this is the uh, be a close-up of the pins so we can see what's in this lock Back it up just a little bit. Okay, it looks like uh, we've got a uh, standard pin in one of the chambers. Okay, it looks like it's got a little taper on the bottom there. And this one does, looks like it's got a little taper on the bottom. This is a uh, long, skinny type spool. This is another long, skinny type spool. And this one looks like some type of uh, ASA pin or similar to an ASA pin. So that's what we got in this uh, tree lock. Um, I will try to get it put back together. If I can't, then I'll just cut it in two and I'll make a, two challenge locks out of it uh, to send out and see if someone can open it because it uh, is a very hard lock to open. I've opened it twice and that's all I've been able to open it is twice in the last three days. So it's just a very hard lock to open because of the way the uh, warding is set up on this uh, lock it uh, I don't know whether you can see anything in the plug or not but you can feel it it's like a yell lock it's got little channels that uh, the pins uh, go through and it's very hard to get a pick in there to set the pins Okay, that's what we have in this Euro lock, and uh, and what I have in these uh, three locks that uh, I've uh, not been able to uh, pick in a reasonable amount of time. This is the uh, U.S. lock. This is a Slag, and this is a Yale. These are all uh, six pin, but I can I can pick these in a lot less time than it than it takes on this Euro uh, tree lock or tray lock ever how you pronounce that name okay I appreciate it please do not do anything illegal and please stay out of trouble and I will try to get this lock put back together thank you